Workers are on strike following negotiations with a company at Stennis Space Center. New WXXV News 25 Brooke Parker is live in the studio to tell us more about the situation. Brooke. Kristen, so these strikers are part of the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers Union and are employed at Cin CINCOM Space Services, a contractor at Stennis Space Center. When it came time to renegotiate the workers' contracts at S3, the union wanted to make some changes. When S3 denied to make these changes, over 200 workers began their 24-7-hour strike late in the night. Cami Carr, a negotiating committee member, tells us what changes they need to see before returning to work. We have a couple different issues with our past contract and moving forward into a new contract. Um, some discrepancies, if you will, and as it relates to workman's comp and what it means to be on workman's comp and still be employed or your work schedules when it comes to working 410s or working flex. Um, we have large issues um, a large amount of our workforce has issues within our insurance um, constantly going up and by the time our wage increase hits we're further in the hole than when we even started. S3 was created to provide testing facilities for NASA space flight systems. The union understands S3's relationship with NASA could be influencing the company's decisions, but workers are feeling like a true effort hasn't been made. There wasn't very mo much movement um, as to why these things couldn't be obtained, and it was because it's not obtainable and no real justifications. Carr says nearly 90% of the company is on strike now. She hopes a resolution can come soon. This is hard on all of us. It's not something that we enjoy, um, that we want to do. It's not exciting. We're taking a loss and it's not fair. We're, we know most of our workforce, like I said, is seasoned. They've been committed to NASA for 25 plus years and it hurts to see NASA suffer because we're out here. Reporting live from where you live in Gulfport, Brooke Parker, WXXV News 25.